Ta-da, squad. Welcome to the conversation with cigars and good vibes. Good evening, everyone. This is BB, Cigar Saint Sister, and welcome to an evening of conversation with cigars with a nice candle and with wine. So I hope that you have a relaxed environment while enjoying this moment with me. I am cigar and tobacco aficionado, living the cigar lifestyle for 28 years, somewhere between Saint and Sinner. Now this evening, I look a little different. Red hair flowing. This is a custom piece that I like to wear when I wanna go incognito. So this evening, I'm going incognito as a ginger. So welcome to The Chill. It's some mysterious music. I hope that you have your cigars. This is just a nice, quick chit chat about self care and heirlooms with a fantastical mystery music and good vibes. There's incense going in here. There is the candles for good vibes. And I decided to come on camera with the last bit of my my father. I've been enjoying these lately. This is the Le Bijou 1922. I had one on the first official YouTube channel, Sagara Saint Sister, when I did the Royal Wedding Soiree. But I decided this time to enjoy another one. And so I was at my last bits and I was like, might as well film while I enjoy this last bit with some nice pinches of snuff. This custom piece here, I'll come closer, it's very red, and it does change my appearance, but a lot of times I take this on vacation with me. You can style it different ways, and then there's other times where I just wanna wear it whenever. So what I do is make sure that when I get with the stylist that the cap is extra large because this is not a weed and this is not a sewing. This is just a regular classic wig. But it is human hair and my good friend who works for Paul Mitchell, oh my goodness, they do beautiful colors. We got together and we customed this piece. I wanted a red classic ginger. I didn't want cherry. I didn't want 
a soft red. I wanted a Hollywood red. I didn't even want like super orange, but they had to mix the color in. And so we got this beautiful fire engine red. Like this is a true mark of a ginger. So I love it. And you can just style it different ways. And so right now I just have it really curly and then tapered in here, like from the 80s when they used to do the um, feathered look. So I wanted to go back and get that. So with natural hair, of course, it's going to do its own thing. But I loved what we achieved. So this is a custom color, custom color wig. It pulls on and pulls off. We have to make the cap extra large because we have to get all my hair underneath there. So we have to smooth out my hair and then twist it up and stuff like that. But anyway, this is a look that I will be rocking from time to time. And I love it. So, I'm just enjoying a nice cigar and I'm... about to go on vacation. So I decided real quick before I go that these will be uploaded, uploaded later and you know just to really enjoy myself here with you before I'm out. So what are you smoking on? I hope you're smoking on something delicious. After a long day it's good to just chill. And so that's what I try to do. Now, talk about custom pieces. I'm going to put on some more great music here. I love heirlooms. And when I get ready to go on vacation or if I go out for a nice evening, I do try and pick a nice heirloom or something vintage to go out in. Or even when I'm relaxing around the home or if I'm at the beach or I'm with anyone, you know, if I'm not in solo company, I love to put on the heirlooms or something vintage because I'm a vintage type person. I love vintage stuff. <sighs> so... I'm going to put on my red specs, <laughs> and I'm going to talk a little bit about a little self-care here. Okay, all of this is just for ambience. I'm just having a really good time here, so I decided so that you have a good time with me. So these are my red specs. <laughs> and um, I'm going to talk about one of the heirlooms that I like. And when I talk about heirlooms, a lot of things that you see... Um, your aunties, your grandmothers, your mother, your friends, your friend's mother, or anything, you know, that you have seen over the years, and then you incorporate it into your own vibe. So, here we go. This is one of them. And this is by Estelada. I love it. This is Youth Do. And a lot of ladies in my family, they would use this as an accompaniment to their bath. And also, they would put just a little bit on for just fragrance as well. But this is the Youth Do, and a lot of people put it into their bath, and it perfumes the whole entire house. It makes you smell so good. And you can also get the regular fragrance spray if you want to. But the ladies would not always get the spray in my family. They would just get the youth do bath and just keep it moving. So I watched and I watched and I watched. And this is bath oil, actually. So this has been a tradition that I keep all the time. Now, one thing about youth do, you can wear youth do in the summer and the spring, but it's very heavy. So I would suggest going very lightly and for like an evening or night fragrance. This did go out because I didn't properly warm it up with the fire, with the stick in my mouth, and then warm it up. I just kind of did it um, cold style warm up, so that's why I have to retouch it. 
So let's get it popping. That's better because you can feel it warming you through. So I love this. It's very nice. This is just a relaxed video, just a little chit chat. But I take this a lot of times when I go on vacation and I put it into the bath and then I put a little bit on me but definitely in the warmer temperature months and seasons I make sure that I use this very lightly and a little goes a long way so that's one of the heirlooms that I would use and then also this is empty right here oh my gosh what is that BB this is liquid deodorant that you would put on especially it's great for non-staining so I love that so I thought this was really really cool and it comes from Avon they got different kinds it's just liquid deodorant and it has a nice light fragrance so if there's something that you don't want to you know if you're in a rush or last minute dinner or, or anything and you just don't want any stains on your clothing like some deodorants would do the liquid is perfect and it's so feminine and it's so great. So I think this is an empty bottle right here because I have stacks of these. Yeah, it's empty. But that's how it looks. And it's great. It's great for non-staining. It's great for travel. And it's definitely something that women back in the day used to use. So that's pretty cool. The wine that I'm drinking is a sangria. And it's lovely. And I'm also going to have another nice pinch of snuff here. And I'm going to go in with the uh, the Lockheed Rose Chocolate, which is one of my favorites. And the chocolate, Rose Chocolate is so good. Within the nose with a nice, beautiful stick like the My Father Le Bijou 1922. And it's also good with the red wine. Ah, oh, so it's heavenly. Now some other um, things that I will probably just show often. This right here is an heirloom. My grandfather gave this to my grandmother on the maternal side, and it still winds up. This is a Elgin. I'm far-sighted, so <laughs> the glasses are just for ambiance. <laughs> but anyway, this is an Elgin, and he gave this to her when they got married. These are all original parts, the clasp. And I'll bring that a little closer so you can see it. And it's beautiful. Even the band. This was from like the 40s. So it's beautiful. So my mother let me have this piece because she has their wedding rings. And it's so nice with a nice little black dress, cocktail dress. Sometimes I wear this and I keep an eye on it because that's not something that you want to lose. It's so thin with the bands that you don't want to lose this. Like I would be horrified. So it, it can be a stressful night or evening or whenever I wear it. Usually I wear it out to nice evening functions. And I just feel real close to my grandparents because I was very close to my grandparents. And um, so their token of love to each other I have on my wrist. So then when I do wear it, I'm just like, oh my God, don't drop this. Don't break this. Oh my goodness. So it's a stressful evening a little bit. 
Mm. So that's a nice cute little heirloom. This is something that a lot of people would wear back in the days. It's like a nice uh, necklace that they would wear. And um, this would be with fragrance. So you would open up the locket just like this. And it would have fragrance in it. And then you could put it on you and then it smells really, really good. So, yeah, that is really, really cool. So, I love that. So, this is something that you could chain, change at any time that you want to. So, if you didn't like this chain, this chain is more so like if I had one jeans and something more relaxed, then I would put a thinner, golder chain on to really match this part of the locket with the fragrance in there and then so it's interchangeable and the fragrance in this one is timeless but I remember a lot of the aunties and my grandmothers they would just have these lockets and it's really nice because if this is the fragrance that you're going to have you can always touch yourself up so I love that I love that oh, a little more of this my father This is like a lovely stick. It's beautiful. Okay, so how about with the men? Well, of course, self-care if you're just getting out of the shower. A lot of men, they love to put on a nice cologne. I love this. This is the Givenchy, and it's very, very nice. Actually, let me tell you a little backstory about this. This is so cute. <laughs> You know, when you're dating a special someone and they have all these colognes and you're just like, oh my God. And so you eye it for a year and you're just like, you know what? He really doesn't use this one a lot, but he's used it enough. So here's what I'm going to do. It's especially like if you're always going on holiday or something like that, then I was just like, you know what? He always relies on me. If that is the case, if they always rely on you to like bring the different little extra tolerances like a lot of men don't bring or whatever. I was like, okay, well, this has been sitting under the sink for such a long time at that time. And I was like, I'm going to take it. So I got a win-win. I can spray a little bit on the pillows, and then I can still smell his fragrance and think of him. But then when I started reading up on this particular cologne here, it is unisex. So that was a bonus for me. And I was like, my goodness, I could spray a little bit of this on me because it's like unisex and the bottle is so pretty. So that's the <laughs> that's the backstory for this. Ah, so yeah, men, do the self-care and ladies, get a unisex bottle. You know, you never know what might be unisex. It's a win-win. So that was a win-win and I still had the bottle and it smells so great. It's also <laughs> great to spray in the air a little bit. So that is really cute and it's always good for men to have that nice unisex vibe happening because, you know, a woman can share but most times it's not and men have their own specific special fragrance that they want to wear so I think that that's really cool and part of the self-care you get out the shower you get out the bath men and you can just enjoy yourself just like the ladies oh, that smells so good mm, that smells so good ah okay let's try that again because it tastes so good this is the my father Lebeju. So good within the nose. Summer is coming, so you definitely want to try it with the gel here. This is aloe vera gel. You can get whatever gels that you want to get, whatever brand I should say. 
And with this one, I just pick it up from the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Stores. And then I have other ones that might be a little bit more expensive. But aloe vera is just aloe vera and it's so good for you. So I would definitely rock it out men and women for self-care you know especially with the skin you want to keep it smooth aloe vera smooths the skin it's good for the skin and it also cools the skin so there's your plus plus and i love it matter of fact i'm gonna put a little bit on <laughs> and it really cools you down and get this it's not staining and doesn't have a scent like that that would make a man smell girly girly or anything like that so men get you some aloe vera and take with you especially in the summertime I keep this in my pocket book my handbag my clutch I keep it to go everywhere and then it just cools you down you get an instant cool down no matter how hot the temperature is so always keep a little bit of aloe vera <laughs> I think I have another glass of this. Mm. Off camera. And yes, this is my favorite little holiday glasses. It has like the snow scenes and I use them all year round because in the hot heat, when I see this, it kind of cools me down and you get the aloe vera. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, another little beauty hat for self-care ladies this is really old and I will always keep talking about this on different videos and stuff like that so let me just tell you about this this is from Victoria's Secret this was their sunlight kiss line and it was the shimmering body ice back in the day this was like very popular and so check it you still see the shimmering ice on that see that that red hair popping too. <laughs> okay, well anyway, you still see the shimmering ice. This was supposed to be long gone. But let me tell you what happened. When it got to the half point, you know, I, I have so many beauty products that I don't get to use them all. And I couldn't find shimmering ice online. I'm sure it could be online somewhere. So, just like how you put the humidification in for your cigars, I got distilled water. Distilled water only, not tap water, anything like that. Just go with distilled, open up the bottle, pour it in, ship it up, put it in the dark place in my little beauty closet. And let it sit for, I let it sit for like about three months. And coming into the summer, because this is really good in the summertime. Because not only does it shimmer you really nicely, not overdone, but it cools you. That's why it's called shimmering ice. Oh, and the scent is so nice. It's like, it's perfect for the spring, summer, hot months. And also going to bed. So I filled it up with distilled water shook it up and just like a chemist the chemicals will find their way and overtake the distilled water and there it is ladies and gentlemen it's just as potent as when I first got it okay so that's a nice little beauty tip there something that you love and this kind of consistency if it gets halfway I would say halfway fill it back up shake it up put it in a dark cool place let it sit not you don't even have to let it sit for three months i would say if you let it sit for a month because of course ladies are going to have other fragrances so let it sit for a month let it congeal together and boom you get to keep it it's almost at the half mark and i'm going to fill it right back up with distilled water shake it up put it under and voila <laughs> All right, so another cool thing for men with oils, what's in this box before I leave you all? In this box is a cute little oil. Look at there. 
And this is for men. It is powerful. Ah, like the nice Arabian oils. And that's exactly what this is. So it's very, very cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's great for men. If they want to do the nice little oils, it's good for them. So, I hope this has been informative when I get back off of vacation. Head on over to the first official YouTube channel, Cigar St. Sister, where I will be doing more filming. Oh my goodness, got a nice little cigar event coming up in the next few months. I'm going to take you with me. And oh my yes, oh my yes, oh my yes. It's going to be some nice story time moments coming up on both the channels and getting out and about in this beautiful summer time as we leave spring. It's going to be great. <laughs> So I hope I didn't throw anyone off with my appearance. This is BB. Cigar Saint Sister. Just a little incognito with the custom piece. I love rocking the ginger. And I like to try different colors out. I will not cut my hair though. I'm just going to let everybody know. I'm never going to cut my hair again. Over the past few decades, I've cut my hair. But it took a while to let my hair go back out. So if I do change the color, I definitely won't be cutting my hair. But I think this fits pretty good. And I think this is really cute too because, you know, you can pull it on and pull it off. I don't do any weaves and I don't do any tracks and I don't judge anybody who does that. But that's just not me. I got to protect my hair. Okay? <laughs> I got to get to my hair too. Ooh. So, another little pinch. And this session is over. Ooh. That's that Delacte Rose Chocolate. It's so good. And this is yummy. A mark of a great cigar is always when you get to the end of it. With beautiful notes. The My Father Labels You 1922 is always a nice choice. Beautiful cigar. And more cigars on the way. So thank you for locking in to this cute little moment. And oh, before I go, here's a beer tip. I love jazz. This is the Brother Thelonious Belgian style Abbey Ale. With a picture of Thelonious Monk on there. And this is a nice beverage. Absolutely. And also, too, my little ring styles. And also, too, these are my grandmothers. Come a little closer. Her earring is from the 50s. So I'm just all in here with these pearls and everything. My nice little Snapchat, snapshot, <laughs> strike a pose. But anyway, this is a lovely beer, Belgian style. So if you like it, are interested, just look it up. This is Brother Thel Thelonious Mock, and it's a bottled bebop. I love the references on that, jazz heads. That's nice. All right, everyone, I thank you so much for the lock-in. Brother Thelonious, sitting nicely. Thank you so much for locking in. One more of this before I'm out. Thanks for locking in. I'm BB. Sakara Saint Sister. Bye bye. I hope you had a great time. More of these moments to come.
Thanks for visiting. I'm Bibi Lolita, Sakara Saint Sister, aficionado.